There he is. Oh. Oh, oh yep. not a no. good idea. Oh, I died. <laughs> you literally hit. I didn't mean to. I was aiming. I, I thought I was hitting his leg. Well, that leg. was smart. Go ahead. Blow up. Blow the, up. These are RNG. When you've it's had, happened so you've much. Had so many. No, you don't win. That's the end of the video. Goodbye. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, like my foot really started hurting. It. Oh, you're still here. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, kind of, maybe, if you're lucky. Because here's the thing about you winning all that money. Guess who's going to come knocking on your door the very moment you get home? The government. Yeah, and the they're just going to be like, oh, hey, yeah, about that. Um, you owe us a lot of taxes. Yeah, and also depending on the state that you're in, they'll take even more. I heard you won us a lot of money on a game show. We're here to collect that. Yeah, and again, I'm not a, I'm not saying you know tax evasions. It says Wheel of Fortune on the leg. So. <laughs> oh well. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, that's because it probably heard us talking about game shows. Oh, but well, I like thought game the shows. Let's advertise. Off. Yeah, the mic's Wheel off, dude. I'm sure it's off, but I don't think they give a shit. Well, no, because it's connected to my account. It's connected to my account. It's probably Aww. just like heard me talking. It's just like that's hey, so okay, weird because okay, I literally okay, said hold Wheel of hold Fortune. Hold on, let me see if this. Let me see if this works. Harry Potter movies. 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 Yeah. I, I wanted to say a few other things, but it nah. didn't work. <laughs> no, it'll I'm show up. I'm too much on of there. a degenerate. <laughs> no, it'll show up on there. Yeah, but I mean, I've been talking about people with stuff. They've talked to me about something they recommended, and then I'll get on my phone and see what they recommended to me and advertise and be like, that's creepy. And all it is on your thing is just like, oh, hey, look, titties. The creepiest instances <laughs> have been the couple of times whenever. <laughs> I've thought about purchasing something. I don't think he caught that. Like I've thought about. I don't know. I caught it. I oh, he caught it. He's, He's just, just not scared. acknowledging it. And I've never said it once out loud to a soul. And then I get on my phone and it advertises it to me, and I'm just like, "That's no. You're hey. not allowed to do this to me." <laughs> like, well, it, he's not acknowledging it in the. Uh, and honestly, it, it that was the right play for him, because if he would have just been like, if he would have stopped in any way, that would have like just. It, it like led to like people just being like ah, uh, but instead uh, he 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 did well pulling that. So either way, yeah, it the the whole thing with the uh, game shows is that they're fun in, in concept, but the house always wins. I mean, the only time Deal or No Deal like actually like like had a million dollar winner was because people were so sick and tired of tuning in and nobody winning the million dollars that Asher, Asher no. <laughs> Asher, down. Lay down. He said, but why? Oh, yeah. But I'm I'm the only time Deal or No Deal like actually had a million dollar winner was when literally the, like, the people were so sick and tired of tuning in and not seeing at least one person win a million dollars. And then eventually it happened. And then you know what happened after that person Kinda won a like million dollars? Claw machines. <laughs> yeah. And you know what and you know what happened after that person won a million dollars? The show's viewership collapsed. Mm. It is it it's weird how that works. I mean We used to watch that show when I was a kid. Oh, same. Hey, hey, just wanted to mention you can buy our new Jaden Anime figure bundle on jadenanimations.com. Cool, thank you game shows people's favorite way to fantasize about how to win a lot of money and look really cool in front of the entire country everyone has sat down in front of a good old deal or no deal and watched the middle-aged white people pick the obvious wrong cases while howie mandel just smiles and if you were on that show you could do so much better because lucky case number 24 has never let you down well today i'm gonna live that fantasy and prove how easy it is to actually win money on game shows with my 
my friends Jordan and Kelsey, we're gonna simulate three of America's favorite game shows and see how much money we can collectively win. Let's see how hypothetically rich we could have gotten. The first game we tried was Family Feud. 90% of you guys know Family Feud, and I see you, oh, but for the ones who don't, one. the show asks 100 random people survey Steve questions, Harvey. and you have to guess what yeah. their most like common answers are to get points. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be easy. Steve Harvey sets you up with a dirty question, you scream naked grandma, and then <laughs> <Yes>. you <get laughs> But the moment this poser of a host walked out, I knew I was out of my element. Blame Steve Harvey for not license for not allowing them to license his likeness. That's why. why? Because he wanted because I guess he wanted more money than they were willing to pay. That's they probably fair. didn't have much of a budget for this by the looks of it. Yeah. yeah. This play family. That's not That's Steve, not Steve Harvey. Harvey. The game lets you build your family, and I was just gonna make me and my two birds Ari and Topu and randomize <laughs> no. the last two members. Looking back, I probably should have just made Jordan and Kelsey because they were right there. But somehow the game randomized to Walter White, so we just kind of went with it. Mm. <laughs> you can see them like the stretching. Walter, Walter White. White. That's uh. Walter White. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he doesn't have glasses, and you know his. Hair's like, uh, like grayish black instead of like brown, but yeah, close enough. It's really him. <laughs> That's good. Look That's at Saul Goodman. <laughs> why do you? Why did you make Saul Goodman look like a used car salesman? Oh, I get it. Prompt we were given first was name a president whose face appears on money. To which we both said Lincoln, and the opposing family, the Hortons, answered Roosevelt. And America must have been thinking the same thing I was, which was, wait, Roosevelt is on money? Because we got the higher score and got to keep guessing more answers. We very confidently punched in Washington, which was first, and then realized we didn't have any more guesses. Obama? Hamilton. After strikes of well, technically, he wasn't a president. Yeah, I know, but he's but he is on the dollar, or he has a ten dollar bill. Ten dollar bill. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was Secretary of Treasury, but then the other one, the baffling one, is Ben Franklin. Yeah. Because he wasn't a president either, but yet he's on like the the biggest like like traditional bill, like the biggest like the one hundred, and then of course there's Grant who's on the fifty and Jackson who's on the twenty. Hmm. Do y'all remember who was on the two dollar bill? Nope. Mm -hmm. Thomas Jefferson. Oh. <laughs> That's very wrong answers. The Hortons buzzed Hamilton. Which is stupid because Alexander Hamilton wasn't even a president to begin with. Everyone who experienced 2015 knows that. Does that mean they steal all the points? <laughs> no. If, if Hamilton. They get it, if they well, what? like the he Alexander. It's time for you uh -oh. to score some points. If I know something, Ham Hamilton is not a president. Like the Graham Bell, Alexander. Except for it's still an answer what? stupid people can give, so it's an answer. <laughs> yes, it is. Sorry. You're but... not answering the question they ask. You're answering what you think the general dumbass public answered that yes. question as. <laughs> That's the problem with this game. Yes. Go lay down, Asher. I got a kitty on my lap. <laughs> they took all the points. Mm -hmm. B.S. Name a president. Alexander Hamilton. Ding, 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 ding. Here's all the points. America is so dense and uneducated, they are literally pumping wrong answers into Family Feud, mm -hmm. and I am suffering because of it. Mm -hmm. Name a fruit. Hot dog. <laughs> Going into round two, we were... <laughs> well... It's like always Sonny made fun of that because well, yeah. Charlie was one of the people interviewed. So some of the answers were stuff like dragon and nightman. Like, let's name an animal that uh, name an animal that we eat that doesn't eat us. And Charlie's like dragon. And you're like what? Do you eat dragons? Well, no, dragons more of a food for kings. <laughs> like I find myself to be more of a peasant. <laughs> wow. And then he gets one point because he had answered the survey previously. <laughs> Gosh. And it. The, the naked grandma one's always one that I always come back on. I'm just like, like... And Steve Harvey's just like, I know you're right. Nobody wants to break into the house and see freaking grandma naked. 
It also reminds me of the meme that's just like, what are you doing if you sleep in the buff and someone breaks into your house and there's a cat and it's just like, look at my balls. Look at them with his legs like, <laughs> just sticking out. Nah, me, me, I'm like, I'm like pelvic thrusting the whole way to them. Like, I'm just like, and like, like right here, I'm locking eye contact. I'm just like, <laughs> just like inching closer and closer towards you. And the, there's nothing they can do except just be in terror. I would just start slinging it around and making martial arts moves like, ho, 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 you want to mess with this? Ho, 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 They're going to be like, uh. And then, you, and then ju just, for, just for shits and giggles, we get the one robber who's actually into that shit. <laughs> and I'm just like, and then we're. I just feel fucked. like you get the one guy that's like, I'm not putting up with this shit, and he just shoots Shoot you shit. in the dick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you're just like, I'm sorry. Just a bit at zero points to 96, but we swept the next prompt. Something that helps a baby go to sleep. Milk. Milk. Mary, uh, hit the fan again. Something you might lose as you get older. We were on a roll with mm. hair, teeth, memory, memory hearing, and memory. We got a strike because I said parents, and even <laughs> though that's literally a hundred percent correct, guaranteed, it was on there. there. There's there with one the memory answer joke. left we needed to figure out, <laughs> and we came up with vision, which we were very confident in, but received another strike. Really? Flabbergasted. I was hearing on there, but not vision. We threw out a half-assed walking, got our last strike, and it was given to the Hortons. Strangely enough, they ended up passing. Guess they couldn't think of anything. But you know what the answer was revealed to be? Eyesight. <laughs> you, hate, you see, in the real game, they'd give it to you. Yeah. In the bullshit game, that doesn't take anything like, like secondary... Uh, or secondary in terms of observation into account. Nah. Oh, that's Asher. America is so lucky the Hordens passed on answering because if they answered eyesight and took all our points again after we said vision, it would have started my villain arc. With a strong point <laughs> lead of 224 to 96, we are now entering a double points round. What's something people alphabetize? Names. Uh, Soup. Recipes. For oh, American excuse stuff. me. Soup. <laughs> uh, In the grocery store. Maybe. I um, we're talking about alphabet soup. Uh, um, spices, maybe? Books. Books? That's another one. Contacts. Yeah, you're right. Because names and phones. Yeah. I don't feel like average Joe on the street is going to give them an answer that smart. Though. Phone, like maybe phone book <laughs> or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But they were being funny in the family feud surveys, and I am yet again suffering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dead Yamcha. Oh, that's always such a classic pose. Because of it. So the Hortons can play, but they end up passing again for some reason. That family only Walter alphabetizes stops cooking soup. Meth. We tried music, children, we ran out of ideas and just said soup again. Nothing was eh. right. The answers ended up being address book, files, hmm. recipes, lists, and spices. Hey! Whoa. There's no way the typical American has curry powder and garam masala in the front. They have salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and everything gets shoved in the back until... No. No. <laughs> no. I actually had the spices in the thing organized alphabetically at one point. They ain't no more. <laughs> nope. No. Sorry about that. I, li I like my spices, Kate. What can I say? So that's why I want to get a little spice rack for the counter. There's just a little spinny one, and then I'll alphabetize them along with that. You know, like... Yeah. Yeah, and then I'll come along and ruin it because I'm terrible at that. Don't ruin my spice rack. I'm oh, sorry. Put it, back. Put no, it so back where you got. What it. needs to happen is it's need to, it needs to have a label on the lazy susan and then on the spices, and then you would just have to match hmm. back up. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. But it, I mean, For honestly, Nate it, to do it. Yeah, but honestly, like. The garlic powder, the onion powder, the the mustard seed powder. I, I, dude, I, like, I've got all that shit. I've got, like, dude, I've got 
I think it's at least 20 to 21 or two, like herbs and spices. She is right, though. What I normally use is salt, pepper, and garlic powder, so. Basic. <laughs> Until they die. Also, nutmeg. Uh, nutmeg and I'll use cumin. That for drinks. Uh, cumin Practice. as well. Cumin is really, really good about Cumin's adding like a nutty flavor and, uh, to your. So now and the we're pico on the de gallo round, that I make. Babish gave me the recipe. With one answer, and if you guess it, you get the chance to actually win money. Name right. something that runs on gasoline besides a car. I buzz in with a lawnmower? strong bus, which was incorrect. I'm not wrong though. I see you going to the comments. Google says a bus is a separate vehicle from trucks, cars, vans, lorries, etc. It is not any of them. That's what Google says. <laughs> Google is not an answer machine. It's a search, search machine. machine. Just because it's on there doesn't mean that it's true. Come here. Lawn mower. <laughs> <laughs> All we proved was America's. Yes. Hey, lawn mowers are important. You gotta keep them gassed up. Bogging down family feud with our stupid wrong answers. I don't want to win that dumb freedom money anyway. With zero dollars in our pocket, we moved on to The Price is Right. I've actually never watched this game show before, so really? I was learning as we went. Four lucky contestants from the audience are given a random item, and the closest one to guess the actual price of it, without going over, is selected to come up on stage and play more games to earn money. You know, if you want to be Your mom a... went to that. Yes, yeah, she did. She didn't get selected. But she said it was a lot of fun. Uh, but also another thing too is the uh, uh, if you really want to be an asshole in the Price Is Right, if some if someone is guessing for an item, mm -hmm. and you and you know they basically steal your answer, it's just like oh this uh, LG OLED TV twenty seven hundred dollars. And then all of a sudden you're just like... Just add a penny on to it. 2701. Mm -hmm. you a, a lot of the times they did that on that Yeah, show. that's that's a, like, that's a dick move. Uh, that I heard that they actually tried to stop. It's just like, you're not allowed to do that. You have to pick something at least $200 above or below your opponent. It's like... Or like a certain amount. I can't remember. But yeah. Anyway... And I learned that even if I was one of the lucky four people selected, I wouldn't even get the chance to be on the actual show. The game gave me six chances to be the closest one to the price of the items, and I lost every single one. But <laughs> hypothetically, even if I miraculously was the winner and taken on stage, I still would have won nothing. I tried twice for content and still ended up with zero dollars. So we're entering our last game of the day, and we've got a whopping zero dollars to our name uh. after being on two of the most popular shows created. We really need to make this one count because I am going to look like such an idiot if I was on three game shows and came back with zero money. We walk out on stage. The spotlight finds us. Jeff Foxworthy raises the microphone. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> really? <laughs> to are you smarter than a fifth grader? Jesus Christ. <laughs> when she said Jeff Foxworthy, I'm like, you gotta be shitting me. Because that's the only show that I remember him ever hosting. Yeah. Especially a game show. The show where you're given trivia, children up to grade five are taught. Answer them all correctly, and we could be leaving the show with a million dollars in our pockets. But fail, and you're doomed to know you're not smarter than a literal child who has to raise their hand to go to the bathroom. That's Jeff's favorite line to drop when people lose. He says it all the time. It's like it's go-to roast. Oh, uh, it's the only one they would. That it's one of the only ones they would record for the game. Jeff's actually really funny on the show. He was actually like really good at Can coming up with. Younger? At stuff like that. Oh, oh. Callie. Callie baby. Oh. Every She's couple cold. of questions, you have to pick a child they have provided uh, to help you out. You're given the chance to either peek at their answer or copy their answer. But you can only do those once. They're like your child lifelines. I picked Jeremy <laughs> as our first little buddy. I liked his enthusiasm, and he gave us a really good high five. The subject we chose was under fourth grade math, and the question was, how many lines of symmetry are found on the following shape? <laughs> it showed us a picture of a pen. Oh, there she! Oh, there she goes. Now she wants under. She's like, "My mom, cold." 
Can I can I get under the blanket? So the, the the question was was how many lines of symmetry are found on the following shape? It showed us a picture of a pentagon. I accidentally Five. thought it was a hexagon at first, which was not my finest moment. And then it glitched and never went away. We couldn't get the pentagon oh. to disappear and literally couldn't read the multiple choice answers. Our thoughts were since we wanted to punch in the answer of one. Yes, I know, another not the finest moment. Look, I was stressed, okay? The <laughs> Pentagon was freaking me out. I wanted to say one. Surely they would have put the answers in ascending order, A being the smallest number and D being the highest. So we locked in A, hoping it was one. Lock in. Oh, man. Locking in. So no! <laughs> five. It is five, five. The yeah, there's five answer. lines of symmetry on the Pentagon. Uh, let's restart, let's restart. <laughs> First of all, seven was completely the opposite of what we were trying to say. Second of all, we wouldn't have been right in the first place. <laughs> Third of all, Jeremy ended up saving our hides. So besides being able to either peek at or copy your student's Asher, answer, if you ever no. get something wrong... Asher, down. She Asher. Cur curbied his paper off of his desk. <laughs> Asher, lay down. Don't disturb your kitty. But the kid gets it right you get to be saved and are still in the game like the rest of the lifelines It can only be applied once and Jeremy was here to be our Pentagon knowing hero Anyway, we restarted that oh. count, We weren't counting that one because the that was just a practice round and the forever lasting Pentagon wasn't fair It messed with our heads but this one, this one's for real now. Attempt two started and was going well. We ended up getting to the sixth question without any problems. But of course, as our luck would have it, we were given another glitch question where they gave us an image and then we can't read the answers. What? This time the question yeah. was from fourth grade social studies. What is the shape of the following landmark? And then it showed oh. us this. It's an I obelisk. I don't know what it was called, but Kelsey was sure it was the obelisk, and we could yeah. barely see that Look as answer obelisk. C. Even though we were 99% sure we should just lock in C, I wanted to play it safe and copy our chosen student Alicia's answer. So we copied her, and Jeff Foxworthy revealed the correct answer, which was C, obelisk. Jordan, Kelsey, and I all celebrated because we were right, but in a very unfortunate turn of events, the it was child revealed was wrong. that Alicia punched her answer answer in as B. Pyramid. What you little oh my god. Attempt three. <laughs> <laughs> so uh Ray from Achievement Hunter has a very infamous clip where he's just like he's like uh he plays uh Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? And uh he decides to copy the answer from a kid named Tom and he's just like Tom okay I'm gonna copy Tom's answer. Don't fuck me Tom and he's just like, Tom, and then guess what? Tom's answer is on. He's like, Tom, Tom, you stupid asshole. <laughs> he's just like, he's like, hey, everyone, true story. Tom met, never made it home that night because I beat the shit out of him in the street. Wow. <laughs> Violence towards children is funny. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's especially, not. Especially when it's, it's not at all. Especially when it's perpetrated. Like a skinny Puerto Rican guy who can barely lift a paper clip. I love you, Ray, but damn, you're threatening as a kitty cat. So you gotta watch the episode of It's Always Sunny where Mac and Charlie beat up the little gang of kids that stole their bikes. Oh, yeah. And then tell me that kids get beat up by adults is not funny. I remember the Step Brothers one where they were like, where they practiced karate and they beat the shit out of those kids at the end of it. That made them lick the, the made them lick the shit. Oh. We really wanted to do one attempt each with the game shows because on national TV You've only got one shot to make your money But I don't think there's ever been times on are you smarter than a fifth grader where Jeff Foxworthy tapes the obelisk to your face And makes you guess on while you're locking in this time. I'll say it now We didn't get any questions where the pictures perpetually blocked the answers mm. It was all a That's fair good. fight and whatever we win on this try is what we're going with and it was going well 
really well, in fact. Third grade animal science. Which of the following animals has eight arms? Octopus. <laughs> Octopus. I knew that one. Third grade music. A symbol that represents the duration and pitch is also known as what? Music note. Musical note. Then we got stuck on fifth grade measurements. Nine meters is how many yards? I don't know that. I'm an unfortunate slave to the imperial system. So we decided to copy Juliet's answer, which was 9.8. Yeah. She was right. We got to move on, <laughs> even passing the $25,000 benchmark question. That means if we end up flunking out from this point on, we still get to leave with 25k. Solid, but so we're you going won for money. Million. By the way, I had no idea you could win that much money on this show. They could ask you, what's this? And then you say the color wheel, and then you can walk out with $300,000. That's absolutely <laughs> bonkers. Anyway, we were getting far. Really far. 50,000, 100,000, 175,000, 300,000. We were still in it. The $500,000 question arrived. Fourth mm -hmm. grade inventors. Which inventors' improvements to the steam engine were instrumental in starting the Industrial Revolution? James Watt. We didn't know. None of the choices seemed right. As in, we didn't know who any of them were besides Benjamin Franklin, and I don't think he did that. After no, a lot of he back did. and forth, we well, I are you 100 percent sure? It's yeah. What? Hmm, okay. Well, because what in in terms of starting the Industrial Revolution? Oops, yes. Sorry. Because Benjamin Franklin was not around for the Industrial Revolution. Uh, Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin. I knew that. And then Robert Fulton, Fulton, Fulton. was the one who uh, revolutionized uh, steamboat travel, but. The steam engine had been around for quite some time before then. Instead, James Watt was one of the primary inventors of the traditional steam engine that eventually became the predominant uh, factor because in the Industrial like, Revolution. Wattage is named after James Watt, right? I think so. Uh, mm. so. I would figure he would have had something to do with electricity in some way. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, Scottish inventor, uh, again with these stupid freaking, thank you, yes, so there he is, so 1736 to 1819, yep, steam engine. the Newcomb, uh, the Newcomb and steam engine, and the Watt yeah. steam engine, yeah. so yeah, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> I probably would have guessed Fulton and lost right there. Well, Robert Fulton, I mean, there's no understating like his uh like his contribution cuz, you know, but as you can see, it was way after. It was at least yeah. like uh so that's why I would have 1807. Lost. So yeah, it was well over uh like well over 50 years after. But still though, I mean, it's amazing what he was able to do with the steam engine in terms of like traveling on water because you know instead of you rowing or using you know being confined to using sails instead hey we actually can move very easily across the water and like being steam. in the multiple choice answers for that question is what makes it a more difficult it's a trap to me. Yeah. you see they trap you with some with some like that. I float for traps like, all the time as a kid on multiple choice questions because I'd be like, "It's got to be this, right?" Oh no! <laughs> like, yeah, you 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 gotta stop. It and was think. close, but not exactly. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you gotta stop and think. Yeah. We decided to guess on Robert Fulton. No, which was the wrong answer. Oh. We were out. I would have been right there with then you. So. We realized we still had hope. We hadn't been saved yet. If the student we chose during this round got it right, we can still keep going. Hey. Jordan, Kelsey, and I look to our side to realize Alicia. Oh, the no. The girl who thought this was a pyramid. We're doomed. We had no more child lifelines left. Where was Jeremy when we needed him? She reveals her answer. James Watt. She was right. Hey. We were saved. Well you done. You are just saved by someone who needs to raise their hand to go to the bath. Jeff, we made it. We got to the million dollar question. Apparently, they tell you what the subject is going to be, and if you don't want to take it, you can still walk away with $500,000. Okay, thank you. Bye. That's that's me. Right. That's me. Because that's the thing. Half a million dollars is more than enough for me to just 
just be like completely content with. Same. The, the temptation of a. Uh, here's what I would ask: Is like, can I see the question for the million dollars? Before? They only get to learn the subject. Oh yeah, that's right. Which is very generous, but the catch is, it's not multiple choice. You have to submit your answer yourself. Yeah. Which being I'm real, taking the 500k and real, walking out. I I am too. No freaking show, way. I would just be like, all right, cool, see ya. Hey. The <laughs> see? Are you kidding me? That's five hundred thousand dollars. I've proven enough here. I'm going home now. But for the sake of the <laughs> video, we went all in. The subject was earth science. <laughs> And the question was, I have a what chance. do you call the process of heating water into steam and then cooling it to purify it? Distillation. To which I was like, I don't know. But miraculously... Distilling. It's literally distilling. It's is the that same. distilling? Yeah. Okay. Jordan knew it. I wouldn't have gotten it. Fucking, um, oh my god, I don't know this. Here. That's dis distillation. I probably would have typed in pasteurization or something. Like, That'd be a good answer. But, uh, uh, distillation, that's... Literally, like you removing the impurities by literally, like, like boiling it into steam, capturing the steam, and then, like, reconstituting it as water. Is it? Good job, babe. Yeah, right. How do you Distilling. spell that? D i s t i l l a t i o n. I l l distill. I'm pretty sure. It's a better word than I would have said. I would have said Jeff. I I don't know. Locking. Uh, I hope so. I hope, I hope they're not like, right. actually, it's distillation. Here's the correct word. Condensation. <laughs> now locked in for the final time. $1 oh my God, fingers crossed. is on the line. Everyone First in the all, audience crossed their arms for getting at the same to the time. end of the line. They're it's pissed. not easy. You will lose $475,000 oh. and walk out of here $25,000 is still a juicy amount. It's a good amount. <laughs> like, I'd still be happy. Like, very happy. Mm. Me too. No, I'm sorry. No. What? Ah! What is what it? I can't believe what a moron I'm, I am. You're this not is a my moron. bad. Show us the what? correct answer, please. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> okay, no. That's at that point. No, y'all won a million dollars. Fuck that. Y'all won. Like, the, uh, fuck what the game says. Y'all won a million dollars right there. In spite of, like, the stupidity... Dear Lord Asher. <laughs> You're gonna crush the kitty. Calliope poked your head out and went, No! <laughs> what is she doing? He's being a, he's being a lump. Look at him. Jesus. Buddy. I can't go anywhere without these two. Buddy. <laughs> he's fine. Okay. You're fine. Just stay right here. <laughs> Come Lay on, down. he just looks annoyed. <laughs> like he's gonna lick my face. Meow. Alright, anyway. We are right. We are right. We are right. No, yes. no, 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 no. We won that million. I don't care what the game says. We yes. won that million dollars fair and square. It's just a <coughs> distilling. Shut up, Jeff Foxworthy. Go back to making barbecue sauce. So let's see what we made. Nah. Family feud? Nothing. Price is right. Wouldn't have even made it on stage. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yo, what? Hypothetically, one million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with that. Thanks for Birds. watching. I wanted to mention yeah. again. <laughs> That's both of them just sitting on top of each other wearing a coat. <laughs> and an and, iPad. And also, yeah. number two. Yep. <laughs> just, I'll, I, I wonder where... Good job, number two. And look, two. you got the Mr. Bigglesworth. The hairless cat. Miss oh, Bigglesworth. <laughs> well, yeah, Miss Bigglesworth. But it's like Miss Bigglesworth is unhappy with your with your progress. What are you going to do to please to please her? I will give her treats and and head scratches. Miss Bigglesworth is pleased by this. You will <laughs> not die today. But cross me again. Yeah. Uh, but we're selling a really cool Jaden anime bundle that includes a new figure, vinyl record with Japanese and English versions of our Rise Above song, Ari cards, stickers. Go to jadenanimations.com and follow our shop Twitter at Jaden Shop for updates and sneak peeks on what we're working on. All right, thanks for letting me shill. Bye bye. Well, there you go. All right. Well done. Nate could win money on a game show. I could not. It's because yeah, I need a, to get this guy on a I game have a show. pool of useless knowledge up here that in real life 
equals nothing. But in terms of in terms of just like like game shows and stuff like that, maybe I could win some money. Who's to say? <laughs> I mean, I would hope I could win money. Uh, See, I have a pool of useless knowledge, but it's all filed away with some sort of weird-ass Dewey Decimal System where it's really a crapshoot as to whether or not I can actually find the answer I'm looking for at any given moment. <laughs> all, of a sudden you just, all of a sudden, you just hear like the cards sifting through like... Wait, this isn't supposed to be here. This isn't supposed to be here. Damn it, who did this? That's basically what I... Definitely know... What family of animals weasels belong to, but for some reason, the only thing I can come up with right now is orangutans are funny. Yes. Thanks, Logan. Yes. It's like, it's like yes, I do remember who the fourth... Still a day. Yeah. I got it. It's like, yes, I do remember uh, the, name of the, the name of the fifth president and the important doctrine. It's just, I have a hard time thinking about it right now. Uh, thinking about the fact that how how funny George Washington's smile must have been considering his teeth were wooden. <laughs> so like, I wonder if I wonder if I like I wonder Just if I knocked on him. George Washington going yes. <laughs> <laughs> Say that. Do you want me to regale you the tale of the time I chopped down a cherry tree? It was fun until my mama caught me and then. Of course, I had to confess. Otherwise, I'd have to kill her with my little axe. That got dark. Sorry about that. So anyway, yeah, Jaden Animation. Can you win money on game shows? Well, Jaden would have won a million dollars right there because the distillation and distilling thing, yeah, that's that's bullshit. And uh, the people on the game show would have caught that. For instance, there was one on Jeopardy that was actually... Really, really good. I couldn't believe like it, they caught it. Uh, there was a, uh, there was a thing. It was um, uh, it was on a, it was like a few like futuristic shows. It's like futuristic shows for like eight hundred, and the uh, answer was this futuristic show has a, uh, this futuristic show uh, features a troop of a troop of travelers. Going to new, going to places such as New New York, and one person ringed in and buzzed in. Uh, eh, what is uh, or what is uh, Doctor Who? Incorrect. It's like, and I thought to myself at the time, like, no, there's a New New York in Doctor Who. Like, huh? Well, that's weird. I can't, I can't believe that's not. Then, beep beep beep. What is Futurama? Correct. It's like, oh yeah, because the main hub of like where the show is set is New New York. But then they come back from a commercial break, and Alex Rebecca is just like, actually, just to update everyone on this, turns out New New York is in fact a city in the show Doctor Who. So we will be awarding the points to uh, the person who answered that with their uh, initial buzz in. So yeah, that was really cool. The fact that. They went back and was like, oh yeah, we messed up. So But everybody but the one that points. buzzed in and answered Futurama thought that was cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I were them, I'd have been pissed. Oh man. I'd have been like, you know, I've always planned to watch Doctor Who, but Doctor Who can go fuck itself now. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> uh well, anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this one, everybody. This was Can You Actually Win Money on Game Shows? Uh, I thought this was really good, and uh, yeah, Jaden as well, uh, you know, always bringing her A-game to these. So, if y'all want to see more from Jaden, click her name in the title of the video. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Nick. This is Calliope, and this is Asher. <laughs> and we'll see y'all in the next one. Take care. <laughs>